Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2024, GSR24, being held here in Kampala in Uganda, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Mr. Petros Galides, who is the Merg Chair, as well as being Deputy Commissioner of the Electronic Communications and Postal Regulation of Cyprus. Mr. Galides, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Now, you've just chaired a session focusing on mastering digital transformation. Um, in fact, you've, got, you've still got some of your notes there in front of you, which is great. I was going to ask you, what are your main takeaways and how important uh, is the role of national regulatory authorities uh, in accelerating digital transformation? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, it was indeed a very interesting uh, session and I thank the ITU for organizing it and for including this subject, which is uh, so pertinent. Um, okay, the background to the issue is that transformative technologies uh, are at such a geometric speed changing uh, the whole sector and our lives uh, from uh, very important uh, uh, government uh, issues down to the last citizens and uh, our daily lives. Now, things like AI, IoT, blockchain, cloud, all these things we keep hearing about, autonomous vehicles, all these things, they're moving very fast, but it's a challenge for regulators and governments to keep up. Uh, on the one hand, to balance innovation, investments uh, in these uh, sectors, but also at the same time protect the consumers and society. Now, the main takeaways from the very interesting discussion uh, were, that, were that for all these things to be achieved, regulators by themselves can only do so much. So collaboration, cross-sectional, cross-state is very important. So even each regulator in our own countries, we do need political support. So clear policies, understanding of the sector, a clear uh, government support for regulators and all sectors, uh, all stakeholders to be able to support all these uh, uh, new cosmos. Um, other things that came out from the discussion, which was very lively and interesting, was that uh, more than that, citizen involvement is crucial. Uh, both for developing the sector and for protecting it. So the citizens, the users, their behavior is crucial both in helping the development of the sector and in keeping it secure, both for the sector and for themselves. Um, of course, the operators, they need to be uh, citizen-centric. So that came out of the discussion, which was very interesting. Um, responsiveness of operators and all the stakeholders to citizens' uh, uh, voice, to the citizens' voice. Um, it was interesting to see progressive approaches uh, by operators um, and overall, overall a collaboration between all involved stakeholders. So th th these were the main messages. Now, this year, uh, I understand that Cyprus is chairing EMERG, the European Mediterranean Regulators Group. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about EMERG and its priorities and to what extent regional coordination plays a role in the context of making connectivity universal and meaningful while accelerating digital transformation. EMERG, the Euro-Mediterranean Regulators Group, comprises of 25 European nations regulators uh, ranging from uh, Germany and Austria, uh, Switzerland and Bosnia, Portugal and Spain, uh, Greece, Cyprus and Turkey, uh, Israel, Palestine, Jordan, Egypt, Morocco, and everything in between. Uh, so it's a very diverse group. Um, its priorities are regional stability and uh, human development and regional economic integration, of course, the development of electronic communications in the Mediterranean, the development of competition for the benefit of citizens, um, connectivity, international connectivity, uh, international cooperation, of course, um, 
digital transformation, which is the issue of uh, these days, security, which is becoming all the more important, cybersecurity, network resilience uh, and integrity. So those are the main uh, priorities. Now, collaboration is crucial, again, um, to keep up with developments, to be able to respond to the challenges that, as, as we said uh, at the beginning of the conversation, with transformative uh, technologies, uh, they move so fast that uh, collaboration is absolute, it's an absolute necessity for regulators and governments to be able to keep up. Again, policies are the cornerstone. The right policies give the tools to regulators and uh, governments, the executive uh, branches, uh, to, raise, to rise to these uh, challenges and uh, encourage and uh, encourage the sector and protect um, uh, the users. Now, EMERC cooperates very closely, uh, both internally also with the countries uh, comprising it uh, and with other regional uh, regulatory bodies uh, like IPEREC, which is Eastern uh, Partnership, Eastern Europe, so it's, which includes uh, countries like Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia, uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan. And of course, we cooperate very, very closely and productively uh, with the ITU, uh, which is very supportive and uh, providing the ground for very good cooperation. Uh, we share knowledge and expertise between us and experiences that come up. Uh, we organize workshops and seminars between us and with the ITU. Uh, we facilitate international connectivity, submarine cables, uh, roaming agreements. Uh, we help countries map their networks, which is very crucial and uh, recognized by the ITU as one of the cornerstones of development of and usage of networks. Um, consumer protection, of course, is very important and we cooperate a lot on that. We also do a lot of work on crisis management. Electronic communications can help very much in uh, uh, managing and reducing the damage to human lives, especially uh, during crisis. And of course, environmental sustainability. Technology, uh, ICT can do a lot uh, to mitigate uh, the problems of uh, environmental sustainability. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this uh, interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcast on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.